<laughs> hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. You guys, I need you to comment down below. The entire world needs your help, you guys. For decades, this bobber has been around, but there is one major design flaw with this thing. Listen, I know you're going to tell me, get rid of this cheap thing and use a different type of bobber, but that's not what this video is about, you guys. There are people in the fishing community that need around the world that need your help, you guys. Please, let's solve this problem. Maybe you've already solved this problem, but yeah, there is a major design flaw with this bobber, and uh, it doesn't come with any instructions, you guys. So anyway, let's get on with this video. It's going to be good. All right, guys, so this is it. This bobber is designed to be used a couple of different ways. It's got a hole here in this binding retaining device that slides down inside of the bobber. Now, the one the way that you can rig this is you can put a small rubber bobber stop on your fishing line, and then you can thread your fishing line through, the, the, through that right there, or you can have a swivel up above it. And this thing is designed, it can slide back and forth, be a sliding bobber on there, and your, your swivel or your bobber stop and your bead will stop it up here. But obviously, you guys, this bobber was designed to be used so it's completely removable. And that's the way I wanna use this bobber. I wanna be able to put it on there and remove it. But here is the problem, and this is why some of you guys are here because you're looking for a solution to this problem. You take the line and you put it inside of that slit, okay? And then you, with your fingers, you wanna, you wanna pull that thing down and keep tension on there, right? So that the line is down. You want the line to be opposite of where the slit is, right? Tight down there, okay? So I'm putting tension, I'm pulling that line tight so it's completely opposite of the slit. I wanna take this device, I'm gonna push it inside of that bobber right there, push it down there, nice and good, all right? It's in there, right? So I make two or three casts, and the idea is that that little stick thing right there, that binder going through, is supposed to keep the line tight down so that it doesn't come back through the slit, right? But look, just with a little bit of pressure, that thing just popped right back out of there. So you guys, that's the problem that we have. Now let me show you a couple of ideas that I had for solutions, but I don't really think it's a simple solution to the problem. And maybe you guys have figured out a simple solution to this issue that we have with this float bobber or cork or whatever you want to call it. All right, so I thought, well, let's try some duct tape. Duct tape will fix anything, right? So I ripped a little piece of duct tape off of there and I pulled a little strip off like that. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just take this. Let's squeeze this thing together really, really tight. Take some duct tape and wrap it around it. Yeah, look at that. Look, solution, problem solved. Well, kind of, mostly. Yeah, problem solved, there you go. It's not pulling off of there. but. Is duct tape waterproof? And who wants, nobody's gonna carry around a big roll of freaking duct tape in their tackle box, right? Maybe you keep some in your boat, but I'm a shore fisherman mostly, so am I gonna stick this in my backpack to keep my bobber from doing this? I don't know. All right, so that's the one idea that I had. Now, here's an, another idea that kind of works, but not really. But and that <laughs> kind of, but not really. But this is where you stick you stick the stick in. You got your line on there. Go ahead and wrap that line around there a couple of times. Push it down inside, and then finish pushing the stick down in all the way. Just push it down really tight, okay? And what happens is those coils that you wrapped around the line kind of bind in there, and that keeps that from from coming out. Like that's looking pretty good. All right, well that takes care of the top problem, but you guys, the issue happens down here at the bottom as well. It pulls through like that after you've been fishing with it for a while and does the same thing at the bottom. All right, so that's, that's one idea that kind of like halfway solves the problem. Now when I was a kid, one of the things that we used to do is we used to take this and we would double wrap it, right? We would put the line in the slit like that, and then we would take our line, wrap it back through, and we would 
double wrap it like that. And then we'd put the stick in, the binding stick, okay? And uh, I don't know, that, that seems to, to work okay. But you guys, after you've casted this thing several times, it does. Look, it just, it starts doing the same thing when there's any kind of pressure put on it. So this is the problem. This is the major design flaw. This is the issue with this. I mean, I thought about like, okay, well, you could you could put a small rubber band on here and, and push it up there. And it would, it would close this gap, but it doesn't really, I, I don't know you guys, I, what's the solution to this problem? All right guys, yeah, I wanna be able to fish with this bobber. I want it to be removable so that I can just free line a pinfish or free line a shrimp or whatever. I wanna be able to just reach in my tackle box, grab this bobber, put it on my line in seconds and be able to take it off of my line in seconds because I don't wanna to have to rig up a rod completely separate with a bobber. If I just wanna take one rod, I wanna be able to have that option to use this particular flotation device for fishing that has the slit in it, you guys. So I know that my rad reelers on this channel can help all the fishing friends around the world solve this problem that we've had with this great product that is reasonably priced, that's been around for decades. So thumbs up for appreciated, you guys. Everybody get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun, live it, see ya.
friggin' snook are busting into the bait right here in front of me. You can see them on top of the water. Little guy's about 24 inches long. <laughs> 